Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. It's game one of the American League Championship Series. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singy, this should be fun. Well, you can feel the energy in the ballpark, and these two teams have fought through so much adversity to get here. When you get here, you forget about individual statistics, and you play for the team. When the team is able to do that, they see themselves go to another level, and I'm looking forward to seeing that tonight. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today's starter, Garrett Cole. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. So it's game one of the LCS, and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series. Well, this team's got its sights set on the World Series. If they Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. The Rockets one to right. The Yankees score first. It's 2-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, number 64. The first baseman, number 64. Vaughn, back to work. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He leaves the yard to right. His second homer of this series. And they cut into the lead. It's 4-3. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the law, and gets the home run. And stepping in for the Yankees, number 64. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. That's his third home run of the game. It's 5-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Wow, he's putting on an absolute show in this one, and there's no better time than the postseason to go off at the plate like this. With a three-homer game, always special, but pulling it off in October during the biggest games of the year, that's incredible. Out of the bottom of the eighth, now it's the power-speed combo, number 64. 
He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Here we go now. Come on now. One pitch. Time. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He blasts one out to right. That's his fourth home run of the series. It's 8 7. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now, for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you've got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely... We saw both teams come ready to swing it in this one, and they found a lot of success. A couple of touchdowns up on the board today. Pretty amazing, and it turned out to be a close one, considering all the runs put up really wild. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. Welcome, thanks for joining us. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the New York Yankees. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chami. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. All right. We'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set, and starting in this one, Nestor Cortez Jr. What should we keep an eye on here? Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Base is empty with two away. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 64. On a line, base hit. Hey, nice swing. That's a good hit. That a boy. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 64. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. So the Yanks go in order as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. One down, runner at first. Here's Josh Naylor, one for two. Right-handed reliever. On the ground, could be two. Over to Torres. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman. From Man at first with one gone. Here's a big power threat. Number 64. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on-base and slugging, too. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. He circles the bases. That's his fifth homer in the series. And they add to the lead. It's 4-1.
pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 64. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Can't get their base hit. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, but he's in there easily. So that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his... Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at ML. Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Cleveland Guardians. John Shambi and Chris Singleton on the call. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three, Singy. And Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 would more or less just end this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags yeah. and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched. The first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. Starting on the mound in this one, Aaron Savali. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, last time out, he's only able to complete four innings, but really battled. Didn't have his best stuff. I look for him to be better in this one. And up next for New York, number 64. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That's a laser base hit. Here comes the judge around third. Jimenez with a relay home. Tag. Not in time. He scores. And it's 1-0. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Number 16 digs in for the Guardians. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a 1-2. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. We played two full, Yankees one, and the Guardians nothing. Start of the fourth. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, number 64. 
Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. Yeah. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really... Number 64 oh, geez, stepping in now for the Yankees. Number 64. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just So two on with two away. Next to hit, number 64. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they boost their lead. It's 6-0. And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went on. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Kicks and fires. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians strand a couple. They continue to trail 7-0. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Trevor Steffen. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Here in Cleveland, and now it's gonna be number 64. Number 64. And a pitch. Back up the middle and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Now the left fielder, number 16. Singy, you've got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. On the ground, two ball. Torres over to second. The double play ends it right here. These guys obviously needed to win this game. Down two games to none in the series. You go down 3 nothing. Guys start packing their bags. They know that they're headed home. But they came out focused on the task at hand. Got the job done. A win in the next game. And all of a sudden, we've got a new series. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at F Live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Boog, and you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes, but hey, Coming back to win the series has been done before. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. 
getting the nod on the mound. Rick Vaughn at Singy. He's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, Boog, along with great stuff that he has, he has consistency. I mean, this guy's got a proven track record. You know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete, he's going to give you everything he's got. Unload the tank, try to pitch deep into the ball game, and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups, even when he doesn't have his best stuff, and that is the mark of a true competitor. That one ripped right center field. Bangs off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Andres Jimenez. Good contact guy, good defender. Corners are occupied with two down. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Guardians strand a couple. They're down 1-0. So digging in, number 64. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. That's his seventh home run of the series. And they close the gap. It's 3-2. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. And here's the first baseman, number 64. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, hey, nobody nice out. Nice Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there. So bases loaded with one away. Here's some real power at the plate. Number 64. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? Right here one time. And that one is lifted in the air. Serrano drifts towards it. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. Jimenez with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the play. And they tie it late here in game four. So many times that one gets out of here. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And now number 16. Number 16. That to right. A little bloop single. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there. And here is number 64. That smacked on a line to center. Hayes brings it in, and that's the third out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the gym. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Gonzalez. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that, right here. So two away with nobody on. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. Number 64. Rip 
Popped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In with the double. And the go-ahead runs at second with two out. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. And he... First and second, two outs. And now the first baseman, number, number 64. Drive him in right here. Here you go. <laughs> hey, come on, big guy. Need you here. Here we go one time like a big dog. Hey, see you, try. Let's go, big dog. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. All tied up here in extra innings. Hey, get the pitch and drive it, huh? Lasers all day. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A towering home run. And they throw three on the board. It's 9-6. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Congratulations to the American League champions. These guys have worked hard all season long, and their hard work has paid off. Now, off to the World Series. These guys can't wait to get it started. From my partner, Chris Singleton, and our entire outstanding crew, thank you for watching the American League Championship Series on MLB The Show.